Hey lovelies. So recently I put some finger coils in my hair and in this video I'm going to walk you guys through exactly how I did them. I'm starting off with freshly washed and conditioned hair. It's still damp here and I haven't applied any other products at this point. I'm first gathering all my hair up at the top because I'm going to start doing the finger coils in the back and work my way forward. Making a part going right across. And with my parts, I was really trying to get them as straight as possible because when your parts are neat, it definitely helps the finished style look a lot more polished. Once I had that down, I'm sectioning off to get square pieces of hair and clipping the rest over so it's out of the way. Now to that piece, I'm adding some oil. This is actually just plain olive oil I have in here. And I added about a dime sized amount of that. Then I'm taking some gel, I'm using Eco Styler and applying that from the roots to the ends of that section. And you wanna add enough gel so that your hair feels super slippery all the way down. Now I'm taking all of the hair and twirling it around my fingers to wind it together and create a single coil. Once the length of the hair is coiled, I'm gonna tighten up the roots because you don't want the roots to be puffy. So I'm taking that free hand to wind the base of the finger coil while also winding the bottom with my other hand. And that'll remove the slack at the roots. And we're gonna clip it in place so it doesn't unwind or puff up. So that's pretty much how I do each coil. As you can see, these are really easy and simple to do. And you just keep making your square sections, adding your oil of choice, then slathering on gel, coiling the hair, and clipping the coil flat near the roots. And I made my parts fairly big because this was actually the first time doing finger coils on my entire head, as some of you may know from my recent hair coloring video. So I wasn't sure how this would all turn out and I didn't wanna spend time doing a million coils if it ended up not looking right on me. But of course you can make your parts as small or as large as you want. A tip for when you start moving up, you don't want your square sections to line up with the ones below or above them. You want to kind of stagger them like if you're laying brick because if they're placed directly on top of each other, it just won't come out looking as nice. Also, make sure you have a spray bottle of water handy and spritz your hair if it starts to dry out at any point. During this process, it's crucial to keep your hair wet because the moisture really helps the coils to form and the hair to clump together. Trying to do finger coils on dry hair is just a big no.
And here we are, the back of my head is done. Now for the front half, I'm starting on the sides because for me, that really helps me with visualizing how I'm going to section the front, making sure my hair is wet. Adding on some olive oil, then some gel. Twirl it around. Then twist and tighten up the roots and clip it in place. This took me about two hours to do my entire head. If I wasn't filming though, I think it probably would have taken me about an hour and a half or so. But once I'm done with the coils, I split my hair into a front and back half. I'm gathering the back half together and making a ponytail. Then I'm using elastic bands and banding the length of the ponytail all the way down. With natural hair and especially wet natural hair, it tends to draw up and shrink as it dries. So I'm banding to keep the coils as stretched as possible. Got that done and I'm gonna do the same for the front half. And you'll notice that I kept the clips in my hair. These are reinforcement for my coils, so I'm not gonna take these out until my hair has completely dried. Once everything is banded, I'm tying a scarf around my edges to keep everything laid and to eliminate the friction and frizz while I sleep. So I let my hair air dry overnight and here I am the next day. This is about 22 hours later. Just gonna take everything down, take out all the clips. Remove the elastic bands. I sprayed all of my hair with a shine spray to get some sheen and luster going. Then I'm taking this edge control and I'm going to use my edge brush to lay my edges just to bring everything together, make my hair look more finished. And this is the result of my finger coils. So these are super versatile. There's a lot of different ways you can style them. On this day, I decided to pull them up to make a top knot bun and I left out two little tendril pieces on the side. And we are all done up. So you guys let me know what you think of me in these finger coils. With this being my first time, I honestly wasn't too sure what to expect. But once I was finished, I absolutely 
loved the change up i'm still kind of amazed that my hair can even do this um and i'm really into the fact that these give me the look of locks without the commitment but these are also great for starting locks as well if you want all you have to do is keep them in and retwist as necessary to tidy them up but yeah that's it i hope this video was helpful hope you all enjoyed and i'll catch up with you soon on my next one bye